Hello, fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. How are you all doing, you beautiful, stubborn, fixed sign, you? Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. I am Tierra Love. I am all about love here on my channel, you all. I am so happy that you all decided to stop by. To the ones that are new here, I hope that you find some messages that will be helpful in regards to your love connections or the energy that is surrounding you when it comes to love. And to the ones that are returning, of course, you know that I am in hopes that you too find messages here that will resonate or will be helpful, okay? Uh, please know... Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate with you, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then please do leave them here on the table with my soft cashmere and amber handmade soy wax candle made by yours truly. Okay, but leave it on the table and allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with. Okay, so Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. I'm going to get a confession for you all. Um, each one of you all is going to get a confession coming from your person. And then we're going to get a few messages and then get some messages of love, okay? Alright, so let's get started. Aquarius. Let's give me a confession for Aquarius, please. Alright, Aquarius. I have anger issues I am working on, alright? So your person wants you to know that they have some anger issues that they are working on. Scorpios, let's see. What is your confession? All right, Scorpios. They tend to look at your social media pages waiting on signs to connect with you. Okay. And Taurus, let's get your confession here. What confession do we have for Taurus? All right, Taurus. They are waiting on you to forgive them. They promise that they are going to change. All right. And Leo's, let's get your confession. All right, Leo's. I can't stop thinking about the times we want shared. So they can't stop thinking about the times that you want shared, Leo's. All right. So let's get you all some messages. Aquarius, Scorpio. Taurus and Leo. We're going to get about six messages and then we're going to clarify these messages, okay? All right, so let's give me some messages for these beautiful big signs here. Okay, so release and let go here, all right? So you all could be holding on to some things or people that you're needing to release and let go. Let's see. Give us some messages for the fixed signs. You got the gate is closed, okay? So it is not um, the right time, all right? So this gate of love is closed because you're needing to release and let go of, of something or someone, all right? Now you got fun times here, okay? So once you do that, you're going to start to enjoy, um, have a lot of more happy fun elated type of times here okay all right you got differences here so you and your person may not be on the same page at this time okay all right you got secret love here so this is a hidden love you and this person could be meeting in secret all right and last but not least you have proposal so this is some type of proposal that may be coming your way. All right. Um, but let's put some tea on it. Okay. Let's put some tea on here and see what is going on with your big signs here. Tell us more about this release and let go. All right, so you got extra triggered here. So someone have to release and let go of their anger issues here. Release and let go of 
whatever happened in the past that you seem to kind of be holding on to or kind of it still triggers you if it comes up then that is what you're needing to release and let go of okay now the gate is closed it's not the right time tell us more Oh, they tripping on you here. Okay. So, they could have uh, closed their gate of love um, because they just start acting funny out of nowhere, tripping here. They could be, you know, um, just going down memory lane or maybe can't seem to get past whatever happened in the past. Okay. All right. So, let's look at the fun times here. You got screenshots. And getting some type of evidence they are watching you have fun they are watching you just live your life and um yeah they they get proof they feel like they have the facts that they need um and they feel like they know what's going on with you okay so these differences here okay so they're talking shit all right um so there's differences between you and your person um, do, um, in regards to the conversation I'm getting between you two, okay? The conversation is not, you all are not coming up to uh, mutual agreements, all right? And that is the differences here, all right? So let's see. This secret love, we got played out. So you either feeling like you being a secret or... Um, being a hidden love or they feel like if they have to hide you or meet you in secret someone is feeling like that this inner this played out okay you're tired of it you're getting bored here and you're ready for something new okay so this proposal here you got dodging bullets here so um, this is blocking negativity escaping crazy people all right so maybe you or your person someone is needing to come out of uh, maybe the uh, of a connection to where there is like a negativity between the two um, or your person is needing to just block out negativity, escape the crazy people in order to be able to um, offer you this proposal, okay? Now, let's put some messages of love and sacred soulmates. Let's see what messages do we have for the big signs here? All right, extra triggered and let go. So you have to let go of whatever you feel, uh, whatever the betrayal is, okay? So trust this part of your journey, understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity, all right? So you kind of want to heal from the past. Don't allow the past to keep triggering you to um, act in ways that is not becoming, talk in ways that's not becoming, you know, um, you have to release and let go so you can move forward. All right. Now the gate is closed and tripping on you. You got obsession here. So someone in this connection is having a lot of obsessive thoughts here. And this could be the reason why they just start tripping on you. Maybe they um, emotionally maybe could have shut down. Okay. All right, now with the fun times and the screenshots, you got Twin Flame here. So this is a divine counterpart connection. You're either dealing with your Twin Flame or a soulmate or someone that you feel spiritually connected to or this person feels spiritually connected to you. All right, now the differences in talking shit here, you got time apart. So some distance will help bring the both of you some clarity. Okay, the secret love and play out. We got friendship here so this friendship is leading to more okay now with the proposal and the dodging bullets got three here awakening so both people in this connection are undergoing a spiritual transformation also you need to lean on your inner circle during this time to help offer you more support here okay you feel more support there all right and you have synergistic 
So, this is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. Okay? Alright, fixed signs. So, these are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. I will see you beautiful individuals, you beautiful people. I will see y'all next time, okay? Bye.